Hospitality is a challenging game. Not all guests are on their best behaviour, but the internet gives everyone an opinion. So motel owner John says he's bucking the system and giving back as good as he gets. The Huskisson Beach Motel is open for business, where owner John Nixon has... Had a gutful. And he's primed for another big day of abusing guests. F tards. Yes. Monkeys. You fat shame them. Yep. And oxygen thieves. Yes, John is fed up with complaining customers, calling them such things as stupid idiot, oversized, stinky guest and fat lips. Do you enjoy when you're doing it? Love it. Yeah. Can't wait for the next one. Remind you of someone? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. You call that a bath? It's not big enough to dry the mouse. It's disgraceful. <laughs> I wish you were a mouse on the <laughs> He's our own Basil Fawlty. He's probably a more, the nicer guy, you know? The, the guy that put, probably puts up with a lot more than what I would. But that is Torquay, madam. <laughs> but it's not good enough. <laughs> well, may I ask what you were expecting to see out of a Torquay hotel bedroom window? <laughs> Sydney Opera House, perhaps? The Hanging Gardens of Babylon? Or Huskisson on the New South Wales South Coast, a pretty little spot, but very ugly online. Who writes a, a review on biscuits? Yes, the guest from Room 4 wrote on TripAdvisor, we were not even allocated biscuits in the room. To which John replied, my staff are highly trained in managing f like yourself. Or the guest who wrote, could smell dog droppings when out on the balcony. John fired back with, Thought your partner looked quite shaggy. I guess that explains the poop on the balcony. And then there was the customer who complained, the wardrobe which blocks the kettle and toaster to the windows. Got back, hi oversized, sorry that your stomach blocked you from using the blinds, kettle and toaster. This person said that I found the room smelt of new paint and raw sewage, to which he replied, hi stinky guest, after you pooped yourself due to your incontinence, you blame the smell on the room. Yep, how can a new room be smelling of raw sewage? Oh, and the very latest One Star complaint has just dropped. Not happy at all. This is a person that brought a dog into the motel and I told them to take the dog out in the street. He's tapping back. It's addressed, high dog breath. I'm trying to keep things as Aussie as possible. John says there's a good reason for his abuse. Want to see the other side to this story? This is what happened here in recent weeks. This is a guest at state. Vomit everywhere. That's brand new carpet too. In another room, there's poop on the pillow and everywhere else. Oh my God. There's feces all over the door yeah. and the wall. Yeah. Who who, so, do you know who, who was the person that hired that room? Um, Christina, was, you're saying it was a middle-aged guy that a middle -aged came man. in. Someone, Probably should know better. It was lovely. His friend came in with him. I'll charge him an excess cleaning fee. Yep. And then again, they'll, they'll put a one-star review on uh, your, your Google or your TripAdvisor. Noisy drunks. It doesn't stop. Then the police come and they eventually get kicked out of the room. Violent ones. He's gone out and swigged a whole bottle of bourbon, smashed it over his head. Full house, guests everywhere. And drugged ones. Cleaners found marijuana in this family room. They're all turfed out, but they respond, says John, with a one-star review online. Mess everywhere, uh, marijuana. While we were filming, John had to rush around to his other property. Oh, jeez. And it's brand new. It's brand, brand new. new cabin. Where guests had trashed the joint. Have a look at the floor, there's stubbed out cigarettes and things in the floor as well. Yeah, yeah. The place smells like an ashtray. Marijuana. This room just won't be ready for today's customers, and he has a full house. So we've got to find a place to put them. Yeah. And this is not a rare occasion, this happens this quite a bit. regularly, but it happens all the way, all around, all up and down the coast, yeah. everywhere, everywhere. It just doesn't get reported. So these people now will go on TripAdvisor, and give us a one star, all right? Why? Because they were kicked out. And lo and behold, two days later, there it is. The turfed out guests gave him a one star rating on Google. Then when you go to your TripAdvisor, 
and say, oh, look, um, this is because of this, yeah. they, won't, they won't remove the review. But they have now banned John and his cheeky responses. They can say anything on TripAdvisor about me, but I cannot reply. Don't believe the reviews on those websites, he says. TripAdvisor's sham. It's, it's just, it's not honest. I'm not satisfied, but I've decided to stay here. However, I shall expect a reduction. Why? Because Krakatoa is not erupting at the moment? Same thing happens here too. Came in, uh, ch came to check out, and then the whole spiel about her daughter's in Instagram, on Instagram, has three and a half thousand followers. And by the way, I've got these photos of some pubic hairs. I said, so what do you want? She says she wants a refund. But if you're unhappy with it, why didn't you come in the night before? And then try to blackmail to say, well, I want a, I want a discount, I want some money back, I want my, you know, or I'll put a bad review on. Same story up the road at Pete's Bayside Resort. I've had people complain about the noise in a room next door a week later. So obviously I can't rush up to the room and tell them to be, to be quiet. So Pete's done a John to the lady who wrote, Motel is about backpacker grades. He responded with, don't stay again. The taps dripped all night. Good luck with your newly found self-appointed position as property critic. Well, I think it's good to fight back and put a bit of balance, you know, a bit of perspective in what's happening. Your room is definitely booked for you. Fortunately, the well-behaved customers far outweigh the bad ones. Like it here. And a few of them have even become fans of John's work. He was in fits of laughter at John's responses. He thought it was brilliant. Good Some people ask for me, yeah, 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 good on you. Yes, the Basil Fawlty of Huskisson has had a gutful. Not a lot of businesses stand up to it. I'm worried about my business, but I don't want to be trodden on. And perhaps you might just agree with him. I have got a good sense of humour, yeah. <laughs> but you have to see the funny side of it. The Instagrammer who demanded a full refund has since left John a scathing review. He's composing his response.